More than half of the rise in sea levels is caused by the melting of ice sheets in Antarctica and Greenland and glaciers worldwide. This melting has significantly accelerated during recent decades, with Greenland losing more than 1,000 gigatons of ice between 1985 and 2022. However, when certain thresholds are exceeded, melting mechanisms can reinforce themselves, accelerating the reduction of ice sheets. Several scientific studies suggest that two of these mechanisms could already be at work. The first is the surface elevation and melt feedback. When temperatures rise, the ice surface is exposed to warm air, accelerating melting and causing a significant decrease in surface elevation. At lower altitudes, the air is warmer, which amplifies the melting phenomenon. The second is the marine ice sheet instability. Warm currents can cause the grounding line to retreat. This line is the boundary where the ice sheet begins to float on the ocean, transitioning into an ice shelf. When it retreats on the sloping bedrock, the the ice becomes thicker at the point of contact with the ocean. As a result, more ice flows into the ocean. Satellite data suggests that this mechanism has started in West Antarctica. A third mechanism is theorized, but it is not proven to be underway the marine ice cliff's instability. The idea is that under the effect of heat, the ice shelves extending the ice sheets over the ocean may melt, fracture, and eventually disappear. The ice sheet would therefore end with high cliffs directly exposed to the ocean. Mechanically unstable, these cliffs would progressively collapse, causing significant ice loss. A recent study highlights that the amount of ice melting or breaking off into the ocean from ice sheets has quadrupled since the 1990s.